Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Take on Tottenham. My name is Ben and this is my Take on Tottenham. And we are now currently in the mood hour. Um, no, I'm joking, obviously. Um, this is a really quick video, guys. Um, just because, and I don't usually do videos like this, only if, obviously if there's anything important happening, of course, I'll try. Um, it's currently quarter to midnight. Um, I've only just sort of seen the, the Conte interview um, after the Burnley loss. And we got to talk about it. I'm going to do a really quick read through of what he said. Um, so bear with me just while I go through this. So uh, after the match, Conte said it was a difficult night. It's not only f it's not only tonight. In the last five games, we lost four games. It means there will be an assessment about the club, about me, because I think for me, it's very frustrating to lose four out of five. For sure, the situation speaks clear. I am really sorry for the fans. I am really sorry because I think they don't deserve this. But when you lose four out of five, it means the club has, have to make an assessment. Also, to speak together and to understand which is the best solution. In this situation, the players are always the same in this club. The club changes coaches, but the players are the same. But the results doesn't change. But the result doesn't change. I repeat, I am too honest to accept this type of situation and for sure we will make an assessment with the club because I repeat, it is not right. It is not right. It is not good for everybody to continue to lose and I can't accept this. It's not good for nobody. In the last five games, we've lost four. This is reality, not the performance. We lost four out of the five. Nobody deserves this situation. This is the reality. I came in to try and improve the situation, but maybe in this moment, I don't know. I'm not so good to improve it. It's very frustrating working hard, working a lot, and trying to get out the best of players. Too honest to close my eyes. Um, on Saturday, we play another game, Leeds. It's, it's the moment to see the situation and make an assessment. Really frustrated, not used to seeing these situations. I'm trying to do ev everything, but the situation is not changing. In the last five games, pretty much the same thing. In the last five games, we are playing like we are... Wow, I've not even read this bit. In the last five games, we are playing like we are in relegation. This is the reality. Maybe there is something wrong. I want to take responsibility. If I, ha um, if I have that, I'm open for every decision. I want to help Tottenham from the first day I arrived, also to take my salary. It's not right at this moment. In this moment, it is not important to speak about mistakes or other situations. The reality is we lost four out of the last five for the seventh time. Um, we, With this situation, we would have to fight for the relegation zone if we continue this way. I repeat, it would be important for everybody to understand the situation because for sure you have to make an assessment of the club first of all. And I repeat, I am available to the club for every decision. I repeat, I come here to... <laughs> same thing really. I come here to help the club, but in this moment it is very difficult because I am not helping the club. For me, it is a very, very frustrating situation. Um... We are working very hard every day and for this reason it is very frustrating this situation. When you work hard, you see in the last five games you lose four games. For the ninth time he said that. Um, the situation makes me frustrated a lot. For the work we are doing, I don't deserve and we don't deserve this, but it's the reality. Uh, I'm sorry because I repeat, I don't like this situation we are trying to change, but the reality is in the last five games we have lost four times. That's like the is the tenth time he said that. Um, maybe the people have to make the assessment. I am available for every decision for the club. Oh, same things, really, isn't it? Um, I am doing a lot for the club every day, but it's not enough for this reason. I think right. I think now is the right moment to make an evaluation for the club. Um, questioned about his personal situation at Spurs, he said, "For sure, I have to speak with the club." It's not normal for Tottenham to lose four out of five. It's not normal and for sure it is right to speak, uh, to have a conversation with the club and find the best solution. At the moment, the situation is not good. So that's the interview. I think Antonio Conte is frustrated. I think that he doesn't like the current situation. I think Spurs have lost four out of the four last five games. Uh, and I think that this is the reality. I think that's what I got from the interview. Um, so that's the interview. Look, I'm going to have a little mini rant and I'm going to evaluate the facts because we like to keep it, tr try and keep it calm and collected on this channel. Um, 
I I will get it out of the way first. I love Conte. I think he's fantastic. Um, he's full of charisma. He's kind of like the opposite of what Nuno was like on the touchline. He's very animated and he he adds so much more to the team. He really does. And I, I really love having him at the club. And I believe, and this is me saying this, pessimistic as I am, I believe that if he was given the tools at Spurs, the money to spend and the players that he wants to bring in, I believe that Spurs will be successful under him. Be it for however long that he stays. It could be two seasons. It could be one season. But the man knows what he's talking about. And I I really like Conte. And I, I really want him to succeed at Spurs. Not only to see my club succeed for the first time in a long time. But to see, you know, his way work with even Tottenham. Um, so that's my loving of Conte out there I don't want anyone to come on here and go oh you, you know you're not you're obviously not a fan of Conte I'm a huge fan of Conte um I I've got to admit I am getting a little bit fed up and tired of when we win this is the best group of players I've ever worked with we're all working so hard I'm so happy he literally said last week I am so happy here he said that. It wasn't even last week. It was this week, wasn't it? I am so happy here. This is the best group of players I've worked with. The hardest working group of players I've ever worked with. He said that. One loss to Burnley. And it's... Well, the club have to consider my position, surely. It's... I'm... I find that really frustrating as a fan to, to see. I don't like reading stuff like that. Because I, I, I think it's so up and down. It's so, like... You, you can't say you're so happy in the same week as saying that, oh, you know. I, and, and by the way, I have to say as well, I absolutely understand every single word he said. I'm not, di- I, as well, as much as I, I disagree with the sentiment of what he said. I disagree with the, 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 the topsy-turviness of what he's saying. I don't disagree with what he is saying i disagree with the notion of we're brilliant we're not brilliant we're brilliant we're not brilliant sort of thing and every you know depending on if we win or lose that i disagree with because i don't think that's you're not sending a good message out to the fans Uh, i don't believe that anyway but don't get me wrong i agree with every single word that he has said i agree that the club has been in a really bad situation for a long time for a long time, even before Poch came and things like this, you know, it's been like this. And I've got my own, like, problems with how the club is run, um, you know, with Daniel Levy and Joe Lewis and, and all that. And, and the, the Super League highlighted a lot of those in, in that whole situation. And by all means, go and watch those videos. Um, but I... I, I I agree with Conte in that, in that fact. I think there are, there are problems that are, are, are going through this club. I have said for years now, since kind of pretty much since Mourinho left, that it, it's it, Spurs. We had some really good times under Poch, and he got screwed over by the lack of transfer activity in the end. And 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 I still stand by that the players got him sacked more than Poch got himself sacked. I felt like the players were way more accountable. Um, I didn't want to see Poch get sacked. Who would have if you were a Spurs fan? I know there were a contingent out there, but majority of Spurs fans didn't want Poch to get sacked. We've gone through, I, you know, Nuno aside, three world class managers in Poch, Mourinho, and now Conte. And I, I do look at all the problems within the club and go right. All these things have changed. You've changed the manager. We've changed the players. Not all the players. There's still some deadwood in there. But we have cleared out a lot of the deadwood from the Poch era. You know, your Sissokos, for example, your Aurier's, your things like that. Um, Lamellas, you know. We've moved them on. Um, sometimes at a loss, like the Aurier thing, they just c- completely terminated his contracts at a loss to the club just to get rid of him. Um, so these things are necessary, of course, I understand. But the one constant that has been at Spurs during this whole time is Daniel Levy and Joe Lewis and Enoch. And it's 
it's the only thing that you can always fall back on. It is. It's always the one thing that has just been the constant. In Spurs is one trophy in the last however many years it's been now. It, it's the one constant is that we've come from different managers, different sets of players. And yes, we've had some amazing times, but there will be riots, <laughs> I feel, if Spurs have managed to balls it up with Antonio Conte. Um, do I believe, one, that this is just a reactionary thing from Conte? I do. I, I, do. I kind of just think he'll do his press conference on Friday for, for Leeds and I believe that part of it will be, if he's in charge by that point, um, I believe that, um, you know, if he's doing that press conference, it will be everything's kind of back to normal sort of mode, hopefully. Um, post Leeds, if they were to lose that game, it might be a very different kettle of fish but um the fact of the matter is it's quite an explosive interview to conduct um it is and like i said the, the meaning behind all his words i absolutely agree even though he said it several times i agree that the club's not in a great state i agree that um con i i like conte's honesty i like that he's not afraid to call out daniel levy and the club and, and people like that i i like that um i think we need more of that in football at times but we knew that about conte so we shouldn't really be that shocked um i also believe that conte must have unless he had some form of bribe going on he must have known what he was walking into at Spurs. He must have known that January wasn't going to be the way. But also then, like I said, I go back to my point at the start of the video where Conte... I understand, again, like I said, I understand all of his frustrations. But Conte has come out several times this season after losses and said... I need time. I need time. We are doing a rebuild. We are doing a project. And what we want for Tottenham can't be achieved in the short term. It just can't. I understand that. Everybody understands that. And I don't think anyone was really expecting Conte to come in and achieve a trophy and top four this season. Of course, it would be great. But I don't think any of us realistically expected that. The, the squad is not strong enough. It, it's not. And the January transfer window wasn't great you know, on a whole. So I don't think anyone was expecting that of Conte. And I don't think Conte's f future at the club should be judged off on that. Um, the, the the general consensus with Conte is we give him the summer, let him do what he needs to do in the summer because he is a genius, bring the players in that he wants, splash the cash because we know it's there. And and go next season we go with him and the squad that he has made that's generally what i believe we all think is the plan um but he said himself he needs time and now he's coming out doing these interviews and i find it it's very misleading, I think. And I don't, I'm not saying that is intentionally misleading. I just think he, he's an emotional guy. We know that. I think he's a very reactionary man. We all know that as well. Um, and I'm hoping it's just a case of that he's just pissed off from the defeat and, and he's trying to, again, show Daniel Levy that he's not afraid to really, like, say it as it is and things like that and, and whatnot. So... Hopefully that's the case, but I I'm just thought I'd come on talk about my thoughts about it because it is a hell of an interview. Um, he's obviously not happy, but I just hope he he doesn't make any silly decisions from it. It's it's a loss, and I don't think we should write this season off, but it might as well be to be honest because I don't I, I think the best Spurs can achieve this season. If I'm being realistic, I I think they can have a good shot at fifth and and get into the Europa League. Which, as I've said, people discount it. I don't. It's a trophy and a route into the Champions League. I think it's, you know, is it where we want to be? Of course not. But it's it's something to go for. Um, I don't want to do the Europa Conference again. I'd rather just not be in Europe, if I'm honest. Um, but we've got to accept, as he said, the reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is the squad isn't good enough. Yes, we beat Man City on Saturday. It doesn't mean anything 
really, in the grand scheme of things of the season. Um, we beat them with Nuno on the opening day of the season, and look how that turned out. So, without Harry Kane as well. Um, so, we know the reality. We know the squad's not good enough. We know that there's still a lot of players that need to get out. Too many mediocre signings as well. Emerson Royale, poor. Let, let's just call them out. Emerson Royale is a poor signing. It is. I thought it would be better than Aurier, but at least Aurier could cross the ball. Defensively inept, but at least the man could cross the ball pretty well. Um, Emerson Royale just doesn't offer anything from what I've seen going forward um, at all. Um, defensively questionable. Um, Ryan Sessegnon, I think, just needs more experience. I think a loan move where he will play every single week for a, for a lower... Like I'm, I'm not trying to sound offensive to any other clubs, but like a lower place Premier League team or even a championship team, just to go out, and like Oliver Skip did, go out and get that first team experience for 46 games of the season, really build yourself up and come back stronger the next year. Um, you know, Ben Davies, I, I, I really like Ben Davies, but I, I, I've i said for a long time, he's he's not good enough for where Spurs want to be. Um, Christian Romero, I think, has been a, probably one of the few amazing signings that Spurs have pulled off. But it tells you everything about the Luis Diaz thing with Liverpool. Spurs were in. As soon as Liverpool got wind of that movement, they went straight in. And the player's mind was already made up as soon as he heard Liverpool were interested. And that's the problem that Spurs have. So I don't know where we go from here. I'm, I'm, I am worried. I am worried that Conte might not be manager by the end of the week. Or he might not be manager by the end of next week or whatever, you know. It sounds like he'll be in charge for Leeds, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, he's he's a very unpredictable man, and it, I will be ranting a lot about the club's hierarchy if this was to happen. I don't think it will. I think he's just being emotional, but with Conte, you can never rule anything out. So, um, it's mad, isn't it? It it it. it the, this is why some Spurs fans like myself just believe that we're just not allowed nice things. We're just not allowed and we just generally believe that we are a cursed club. <laughs> There's got to be some some other reason, surely. Um, so, yeah. Let me know what you thought about the interview um, in the comments section. Did you think he was frustrated? Did you think that he's aware that we've lost four out of the five games? I think so. Um, don't do a drinking game on it though because you'd end up in A&E if you took a shot every time you said that so um, yeah so let me know what you think about it down in the comments I'm very and, and let me know what you think about my thoughts do you think I'm wrong do you disagree let me know I'm, we're, we're here to debate so um, do you think I'm talking crap um, yeah let me know and uh, we will see what happens I will of course keep you guys updated as and when I can um, you know if I see anything else I'll do a video on it but um Hopefully he'll just go home and get a good night's, well, four hours sleep, he said. He says he works 20 hours a day and four hours sleep. So hopefully he enjoys his four hours sleep tonight and gets gets a nice rest. So, <laughs> And we'll see what happens in the next coming days. But if you don't hear from me, I'll see you guys on Saturday um, and we'll see what happens after that. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon. And as always, come on you Spurs.